Is that okay? So it's a demonstrative adjective. It explains the noun time. Is that okay, no? Okay? Even though my friends preferred those plates, I bought these. They preferred those. Alright? Plates explained by those. So it's a demonstrative adjective. Which plants should be watered twice a week? All plants should be watered twice a week. Or some plants should be watered twice a week. But you want to know which ones. So which plants? So plants, now explaining the plants, which plants is an adjective. Demonstrative adjective. Is that okay? Careful. Okay? 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 Alright. What book are you reading? I'm reading a book. What book are you reading? So what explains the book? Alright? Or which book are you reading? That's okay too. Alright, indefinite adjective. Indefinite, you know. Alright? An indefinite adjective is similar to an indefinite pronoun. Except, always remember, if it explains or modifies the noun, then it is an adjective. That's all. Very simple. Alright? Except that it modifies the noun, pronoun, or noun phrase, as in the following sentences. Many people believe that corporations are under tax. Many people. So many explains the people. People is a noun. So explaining the noun is an adjective. But because many, we don't know how many. So many becomes indefinite. Is that okay? Okay? The indefinite adjective many modifies the noun people. And the noun phrase many people as is the subject of the sentence. Okay, alright, that's clear. I will send you any email that arrives after you have moved to Sudbury. Any email. Any email, sorry, any email. Any email. So mail is the noun. So any email. Is the adjective, but because any we don't know which one, which particular one, so it's indefinite. Is that okay now? And they found a few goldfish floating belly up in the swan. In the swan. Oh, swan. Pond. It should be pond, not pound. Can you please correct that? No you there. Please correct that. P O N D. Not pound. Okay, oh. wrong spelling. P O N D. No U. Sorry about that. They found a few goldfish floating belly up in the swan pond. Okay, let me just finish one more and then we can finish the class a bit. Okay, coordinate adjectives. A coordinate adjective consists of two or more adjectives separated by a comma instead of by a coordinated conjunction. Okay, example, a cold ring ring. Alright, let's try and understand this because you, it can also be connected by a coordinating conjunction. You all know coordinating conjunction, you still remember? How many coordinating conjunctions? What is that? What do you call that?
mouse arrived in two colorful colors. Usually, do we put a comma here? No. Two colorful cards. The clouds arrived in colorful two cards. Can we do that? The meaning is different already. Is that okay? Can you understand? Alright? Reversing to and colorful changes the meaning. Why? The clouds arrived in two colorful cards, meaning two cards. It's focusing on the two cards. And both cards are colorful. But if I say the clouds arrived in colorful, Two cars. Who is colorful now? The cars or the clouds? Can you see the difference now? The colorful now is not the cars. Cars are two, but the clouds arrived in colorful. The clouds are colorful now. Can you see the difference? Is that okay? Alright, let's look at the explanation. The clouds arrived in two and the colorful cars. That means here, two cars and both cars are colorful. So any and between two and colorful changes the meaning. Is that okay? Can you see the difference now? Darshini, can you see the difference? Alright? So you have to be careful about coordinate adjectives. Whether to use comma or whether to use and. Because when you use and, the meaning can change. Is it okay? Is that okay? Can okay. you follow? Alright. Okay, I think I will stop now. Alright. Any questions so far? Okay, alright. So, uh, Eva, is that how many of the absent today? Ethan absent, Lee absent, Liam absent, Lillian. Three of them absent today. Is that so? Oh, Esteban is also absent. Yeah, Alright, thank you very much. I'll see you all next week. Okay, keep working hard. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll see you all next week. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.